Hey guys, what is up? It is Laura from Laura Marie Plans and today I'm back with another start to a monthly haul. This is going to be my August haul and I have already quite a few stickers. So I have my Scribble Prince Co. August Monthly Mystery Caress Press August Mystery. I'm sorry, I said that kind of wrong, but um, if you don't want to be spoiled by those, go ahead and skip past this, but that would have already been spoiled like over a month ago for y'all. I have a huge Scribble Prince Co. order, and then I do have a Carly Plans order. So I'm going to get into the mysteries first. So as always, if you don't want to be spoiled, skip past this by like maybe five minutes because there are two, but this is Scribble Prince Co., which is actually a collab with um, Caress Press as well. So this is the mystery. It is like a coffee shop theme. I do think this is really, really cute. I'm just not a really big fan of like neutral colors, um, especially like browns and plan with me's. I don't know why. And also like I'm not that big into coffee or anything. I'm, tr I'm actually getting way more into it now that I'm working full time. Um, but... I do really like the person who does his art and I really, really like the foil bundle it comes with. So I am probably going to use this. I also love this and it does give me city vibes, which I always love a kit that gives city vibes because I do live in the city and I've always lived in the city pretty much since um, college, I feel like, which has been quite a few years now. So I also love this color in the middle right here. I think it's so gorgeous. I think this would be really, really cute for color blocking, which has been kind of my new thing lately. And yeah, so there's like so many box options here. Um, and the food just looks fire. And then it did come with a doodle sampler, which is really fun. Um, and then for the foil, I did get a matte bronze. I think this is matte bronze um foil sampler and then I got the coffee um foil bundle which I saw this like these um full boxes on some of her freebies for a while and I was wondering what kit what um foil bundle they were gonna go with because usually that's like a sneak for future foil bundles but now I finally see it it does come with um two bougie boxes and this is in the older format but I do really really like the foil bundle it comes with like for me that makes it because I really couldn't see myself using this foil bundle anyway with another um kit so I think this is really fun together and I do really like it because I do think it just pairs really nicely together so I'm excited about that one and that is August Mystery from Scribble Prince Co. And then I do have Crest Press's August Mystery. So um, this is hers. And this one is um, Petals and Potions. And I am obsessed with this. This is one of my favorite ones she's done. I love the bright colors. I think, I don't know who did this art, but it's amazing. Actually, I might have an idea who did this art. Yeah, I do. Um, it's the one who always does this art or does her mysteries, I feel like, lately. Um, but I just think the vibrant colors are so beautiful. The And, like, the witchy vibes is just so freaking cute. So I definitely am using this this year. I have to in probably maybe November, honestly, because my September is already looking pretty booked. And October, I don't really... I don't know. I feel like this would be good November vibes for me personally, if not September. Um, but for some reason, I'm not really getting October vibes. I do think this is another kit that would look gorgeous, color blocked. And I love that hers is already in the new format. I love this movie marquee. It takes up so much less space. And I love how many labels she has now. This forget like what? This is just such beautiful art. I'm literally just so obsessed with this. And like this girl's freaking dress. I'm definitely using this girl with the um ombre hair and like her legs showing. I think that's beautiful. I just think this is such a mystical and fun kit. And it's it's just beautiful. Like I've never seen anything like it. Um, you do have the 15 millimeter washi and like just the food in this. It's just all so vibrant and beautiful. I'm just so obsessed with it. 
so that is that and then the foil it came with I think this is just regular gold um, shimmer oh but it looks like it's no I thought it might be in her new format but it's not this looks like just like gold shimmer so I might do something more fun with that just because I feel like I don't know that's kind of boring um but I'm not sure yet what. So if you guys have any ideas, let a girl know. I do feel like gold is actually a good choice with this. Um, so maybe like champagne lights and gold from Scribble Prince Co. would look cute. I don't know. Okay, and then into my Carly plans order. I did order from Carly. This first bag here is my oops. I think I put in that I wanted an oops, which you can do with her shop. And I don't know if she always, like, will give it to you, but the times I do it, I usually get an oop. So, that's always really, really fun. So, this is All Girl Plans' is freebie right there. And then Rosie Plans' freebie. And then I love that I got the script bestsellers because I freaking love Carly Plans' script. So, I got that. I got the cell phone bears, which is really, really cute. I love how neutral these are. I got the headphones, which the oops here looks like it's like cut right here, which doesn't really matter to me because the rest of these are cut too. And then the dishwashers, and these are really, really bright. So that was my little oops bag. And then into the actual order, I can figure out how to open this. Um, so here she wrote my name really beautifully and then I did get this freebie which is by let me grab my planner I think I chose this one because I wanted the scripts again obsessed with her scripts so I wanted to really get all those scripts and then I got the Carly plans freebie um July $15 plus $30 plus and $50 plus. And then into my actual order, I got the colorful shots, which I love marking shots. I feel like when I do drink, it's usually just a shot because I'm not really big on like sipping alcohol. I'd rather just drink it and get it over with. I don't think it tastes very good. Um, but sometimes like, you know, I want to drink a little. So the easiest mode for me is to just take a shot. So I am excited that these came out because I've been wanting shot stickers. Um, I got the heart sunnies, which I thought would be cute to mark like pool days or anything like outside in the summer. I do have a pair of heart sunglasses I wear quite often. So I figured those were cute. I got the cola bottles. Um, Oh, sorry Ollie came in here I got the cola bottles because I love coca-cola so I just got those for my love and then I got birthday cupcakes because I thought these would be cute to mark a birthday and a little thing and then the rest I believe are scripts which like I've said a billion times I'm obsessed with Carly Plan's scripts so the first is a custom with Oliver and this is in her new font and I'm obsessed with it like I thought I was obsessed with her old duo font but this this is amazing. So I have that. I have TV time, which I love the size of this one. Um, dog park. Another dog park because I be going to the dog park all the time. Lazy AF. Sleep in. I like how small these are. Drinks with my bestie, which I thought would be cute to mark. Obviously going out with my best friends. Um, drinks with my love which I also do and this this is like the older duo like I think it's font option one and then this is the new one they're both so freaking cute but I'm really into the new one too um, I did get annoyed AF as a custom because I often feel annoyed AF and I have never found a script that says that I have like a bunch of AF scripts but not an annoyed one so I ended up just making it my own and I'm obsessed with these I'm definitely going to use those a lot I got with Ra who is one of my best friends um and I hang out with her quite often so I wanted scripts to mark that 
I got from Jake because Jake will get me Starbucks or food or flowers or a card or whatever. And I like to mark it on my planner because I think it's cute. And so I got those to mark that. I got Starbucks with Ollie, which I actually just did yesterday. So I'm excited because I can use this for my planner. Um, but Ollie and I will go to Starbucks together because he's allowed inside our Starbucks by our apartment. And it's just two blocks over and he'll wait and get a pup cup and like he'll sit. And yesterday I was waiting so long for my food at Starbucks that he finished the pup cup by the time I got my food. Um, but yeah, he's just adorable and I love him. I got pool time. I got more dog parks because this is honestly my favorite dog park script, I think. I love the size of it. And then I got with the parents, which is actually something I just wrote down that I needed scripts of. So I'm glad I got these because I love the size of those and I needed those scripts. I literally just wrote down that I wanted those scripts. So that is perfect. That is everything from Carly Plans. It's a very hefty order, but I'm super excited for all that. I really, really love her stickers. And then finally, I have a large Scribble Prints Co. order. So let me open. I haven't even opened this. I literally just got it yesterday. And I was like, I got to do a haul bit because I have quite a bit of things piled up now. So I'm just going to put my invoice to the side. So this was during um, Scribble Prints Co.'s Christmas in July sale. So I definitely want to take advantage of that. I was so excited she did that. Um, so I just got some things that I've been wanting. So let's see. First, I have Kane's freebie in this beautiful, like, teal, blue, navy-ish color. And then I got this which is so oh, this is so cute okay so i got the freebie uh for the halloween freebie with the ghost and um as the full box and then some oh my god this is so cute some overlays or header overlays so i got that in gold silver rose gold hollow and sparkly hollow oh my god i literally die that is the cutest thing ever so i got those and then I also got um, the $75 plus freebie, which this color will look really good for fall things. So I'm excited about that. And then I also, into my actual order, the first thing I got were a bunch of um, day extenders because, <sighs> y'all, I don't know. I know I could use like regular sticker paper that I probably have, but I'm like, oh. Ah or I could just buy it and it's really not that expensive. So I just use these for to cut in half for my extenders in my planner. I'm going to go ahead and put those right there, which is where I keep them. And then I'll just do the kits first. I got the, uh, what am I saying? I'll do the kits I got first. Um, so first I got this kit, which is hollow party. I'm pretty sure I had, I used the, the first release of this kit for my dog Maisie's birthday way back when, if I'm remembering correctly, but I just thought this was so cute with this girl in particular. So I was like, I don't really want to miss out. Um, and if I could use it as a baby shower kit for either me or a friend or anyone in the future, um, I could always just put that in so this was a kid I was kind of eyeing and since she had the sale I was like well I should get it really I just love this person and I thought the fact that I could add the baby as the like I could do it for a birthday or a baby was fun so this is really cute I also love this person's like ombre hair um are those like LOL dolls or something? I don't know. I didn't realize those were in this kit. Um, but yeah, this is also just like really, really cute. I love her new format. I feel like this would be so cute for color blocking. I've been so into color blocking lately. Um, I love how the bottom washi is ombre. And then again, it does come with the Oh Baby freebie if you want to do that. And then I did add on this with um, Bam 4, which has the pregnant girl, two kidders, and another girl, which is an alternative to um, this person. So I went ahead and picked that up. I have no idea when I'm going to use that. I'd ideally like to use it for someone's baby shower, um, but I don't know who that would be. So <laughs> um, I feel like I can always just hoard these kits and I'll find a 
reason to use them also you never know someone could have a baby whenever and I would be very prepared okay and then I did get this kit as well which I was so excited she released this art um Kenneth Jess did this is theater and I have always gone to the Kennedy Center or like any theater like I like literally I'm such a theater person <laughs> like if you ask Jake he thinks like my family is so into the arts and like I didn't realize that wasn't like an every family thing so I grew up going to shows all the time at the Kennedy Center and at local theaters um like everywhere basically and also my sister was really into theater and she performed in her school shows I did stage crew for a hot minute and so yeah I ideally would have loved oh I guess it's right here I ideally would have loved to get that extra box with one of these, but I haven't gone to the sh theater since COVID hit. Um, I don't think. Yeah, I really don't think so. But I have seen most of these shows already, but a fave of mine is Lame Is for sure. Um, so I guess I should have just got that box because I just love that show. And I feel like that's the one I see most often over and over is Lame Is because it's like my family's favorite show. Um, but I just love this. I think this is so fun. It's very unique. Um, you could also use this for like a ballet, like for the Nutcracker. My cousin used to be part of American Ballet Theater out of New York. And, um, that was also something I went to the Kennedy Center for that this would work for. So yeah, it's just like very versatile. And am I going to say it? Yes, I am. Another kit that would be very, very cute color blocking. I guess you have the Hamilton box here, which... Uh, I don't know if I would, I probably feel like if I use this would see Les Mis, but I don't know. That's just me. Um, and then you have these two boxes here. And then I did get this as an add-on again with Fam4. I love this tall girl so much and, and this girl's hair and it's just all so cute. And I love how there's the stage crew person as well. So that, my friends, is... A theater kit and that's just something I've been eyeing that during the sale I was like yeah I should just get it um also I feel like this kit would look really really cute with rose gold so that's an option that's that and then into the foil I got I am gonna take a quick drink of my pink drink because I'm really thirsty Okay, so I did get the Shimmer Foil Bundle Champagne Lights and Sparkly Hollow Mixed Metal. I just saw this was mixed metal. I did not know what that meant, but apparently it is Champagne Lights and Sparkly Hollow, which is really fun. I've been super into these ones in particular, the mixed ones, because I love how she does them, and I love this texture bougie box with the mixed look it's just like the most beautiful thing ever when you do it in the spread and then like this page too oh and then the bottom washi it's just all so freaking beautiful so i'm just like obsessed with the mixed metal foil bundles i wish i picked up two of these honestly i did i thought that it was um regular mixed metal so i wasn't too excited but i love anything sparkly which are both of these so that's that and then I got three of these new birthday foil bundles um I guess I'll open the silver so this is the birthday one I got it in silver gold and sparkly hollow and I thought these would be really fun to use for any occasion I used birthday boxes for um Ollie's birthday randomly I threw those in and then I forget who else's birthday, but this is just so freaking cute. <sighs> I love it. I wish these bougie boxes were like this pattern. I don't know. I think that'd be cute, but I'm just getting really excited about these pattern bougie boxes. What? Okay. And then this is the bottom washi, which is so cute. I love these banners and these balloon animals. This would be really cute for a dog birthday party too. Just saying. I'm fresh off of my dog's birthday party. So 
that's just what's currently on my mind but i do feel like the birthday foil you can really add onto anything in a spread i will show you guys because i'm feeling like it sorry if you can hear jake um but well this plan with me would have already been live but i added like birthday foil here on top of the dog foil i used and then where else did I do it? I did it here too on my birthday spread. Um, I have some birthday foil from Plana Hannah and Scribble Prince Cup. So it kind of just like adds to it. But. Uh oh. Okay. When they don't deliver your food like you asked them to. I think that's it though. Um, but yeah. So that's my little hobbit. Hi guys, I'm here for the next part of my August haul. I feel like this may be a smaller haul, which is a good thing for me. Um, but I do have some fantasy wax melts. These have been sitting for actually quite a while. So I got these earlier, um, I think like right after my last cut, which was a few weeks ago now, but I'm gonna do that. And then I have some like random knickknacks um, that I also wanna show just to kind of like supplement this haul. And then also like, I think they're fun. Um, but if you don't want to watch that part, you don't have to. Um, so I did order from um, Fantasy Wax Melt. I think it was their fall like market release or something like that. So I did get two freebies. The first one I got is Bear Claws, which I have no idea what Bear Claws is. I am sorry if my, um, hand, my fingers are a bit gross. I just coached dinner and also I'm like in between nails right now which is also why I've been putting off filming this, but I'm just like, whatever at this point, because also I need to use some of the things I want to haul, so. Mm, this one's really, really good. I really like that. Um, and then this one is Boo Berry, which I remember I really, really liked this one. Yeah, that's so good. This may have already been released. I might have to check and potentially go pick that up. Um, okay, so then I have here Cinnamon Glaze Baklava. I do love that these are all snap bars. I much prefer snap bars. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. And I was really excited. Ooh, that's so good. Oh my god. That's amazing. I am a lover of baklava. I love baklava so freaking much. I get it like anytime I will order from a place that has it on the menu, I'll get it as like a little dessert and eat it and it's so freaking good. So I was really hyped when I saw a baklava set because I was super curious about that. And then this one is banana nut bread and zucchini bread, which I was just curious to try because I really do, I like eating banana nut bread, but I don't know about the scent. Yeah, it's really, really strong on the banana. I'm not really smelling much zucchini, but that might be because I kind of hate the banana. But we will see about that one. That was kind of like the one I was trying out, um, <laughs> like adventuring out to. This is blackberry scone. Mm, that one's really good. Blackberry is a little florally. I definitely see what people mean. I definitely see... I definitely get what people mean when they say that. I don't know. Um, I am smelling like a lot of floral in that, but I th I'm hoping the scone will come out in warm. This is sugared strawberry cookies, which I'm super hyped about. Mm, that one's really, really good. Ooh, I like that. The sugared strawberry is a little bit different and I actually really enjoy it. This one is Tres Leches Cake. This was another one that I didn't know if I should get. But it's actually really good. I think this one may be a fave of mine. I actually really, really like that. I kind of like the milky scents. I'm melting a, I think, coconut milk one right now from Rose Girls, and it's really good. This is lemon sugar bunt cake. Mmm, that's freaking amazing. That is so good. That's very, very close to the famous lemon pound cake or whatever scent, Reagan's favorite, that everyone loves. That reminds me as a close alternative to that. So those are all my fantasy wax melt scents. Super, super good. Obsessed. I definitely want to go see if I can go pick up that blueberry. 
but yeah, super hyped about those and I'm definitely going to melt those this fall. And then I do have this fun little item um, that I actually traded for because I haven't been able to find in stores and it's the Squishmallows 1000 plus sticker book. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm really into Squishmallows. If you watch my plan with me, then you probably see me squish hunting a lot. Um, and I do do a lot of squish trades. So I actually traded, I don't even remember what I traded. I traded a Wanda clip, which is a little watermelon. She was super cute, but I really, really wanted this book and that's what that person wanted. So I traded with them and I thought I would just share it with you guys because it is like kind of stickers. And some of them I think I can use in my planner because I was um, like these because I was needing stickers to mark Squishmallow Hunt. So I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, I just think it's so freaking cute. I wish there was more cows. There's only a few cows, which I do love the cows. Um, this is so cute. Oh, I'm, oh, this one's Patty. Okay. That's cute. Yeah, so I just think these pages are so freaking cute. I know this is kind of like maybe a kid's thing. I always am like told, like my clients that I work with, like, look, this is literally like planner stuff, y'all. Um, the clients I work with always have Squishmallows. So like, I know it's like a little kid thing. So like, also if your kids are into this, I don't know. I just think it's so freaking cute. And I do feel like I can use some of these in my planner, like the ones with the white outline. So I'm excited about that. Um, but yeah, I do wish there were a little bit more cows or like Harrison the dog or the hippo, but I'll take it. I think that's super cute. Again, I traded for this. I'm pretty sure it's from like Walgreens or something. I don't know. My friend Sage would know. She's also really into Squishmallows. So Sage, if you know, you can let people know down below. And then I got this order in and this is from an Etsy store. So I was like, I might as well show this to support small businesses because that's what I like to do. And it's kind of like related to my field, but they do have different professions on it on their um, website. I'm pretty sure. Um, at least in terms of like special education and like OT, PT, uh, speech all that stuff, like those professions, but I think they may even have like nurses and stuff if I remember correctly. So I got um, this order from Chanel's Creations and um, I'm like really obsessed with this. So the initial thing that drew me in was this book. I was looking for something to take client notes on. I'm sorry if you can hear Ollie, he just got neutered and he's wearing a cone and he's just ramming into everything in here, but he will freak out if he's not with me. So he's here. Um, I was looking for something to take client notes on or about, um, but most of the client notes were for like mental health counselors or like that type of thing, which is not really what I do. So I kind of wanted something more general. So I ended up getting this one and I got, I think this was like the most expensive option to be honest. Or maybe not. I don't know. But it has all these pages here. And it has client ID, session number, date, next session. And then you can take notes here. And then to do for next session for the therapist and client. Which these are both really helpful. Because I do supervise the therapists um, that work with each client. So then I can write stuff in here for them. To give them feedback. And then also for the client um, to tell the parents. Or you know the therapist. Whatever it is. And then like some important. So I did feel like this was really big. Basic. I do wish it was like two pages like front and back because I feel like it could have been utilized more but I guess this way this may not be enough space for notes to be honest so I could go on the back here um but yeah I do apologize for Ollie if you can hear him but there are quite a few pages here and I'm just really excited to use this um I think oh god the only thing is I cannot figure out how to get this cover to stay on. It keeps popping off. So, if, oh God, I'm moving my camera stand. Okay. If anyone has any advice on how to get these to better stay in, I would love it. I don't know. These hooks are like not very good, but... 
Other than that, this is super cute. Love the cover. It says ABA all day, every day. And then there's like some things in the background that relate to ABA. And then from them, I also got this pouch that says BC ABA, which that's what I am a board certified assistant behavior analyst. And then I got it to say Miss Laura on the back because that's usually what they call me. And right now I'm just using this for like the pens I use as well as my iPad, um, like pencil, my iPad pencil thing um, and then some pens I use to take notes on during session so I have that right there and those are all in my work bag right now um, so that's kind of like what I wanted to show so that I could put those back in my work bag and then I did get these two stickers I got two of these which this is what I am and I want to put this on my laptop probably and remove my current stickers which I'll show you guys my laptop it's like a pink drink and a dog mom sticker and I don't know I just feel like I've outgrown it but I also have a company laptop that I'm actually picking up this week hopefully so I could put this on that case too I'll probably do that actually um and then as a freebie they sent me this which is ABA all day every day which this one's also really cute so I can put these both on my laptop and I just got two of these just because I feel like they're really unique and you can't really find a lot of stuff in my profession so like in terms of like I don't know like I feel like teachers and nurses and like all those professions you can find a lot of stuff in but not really mine so I kind of had to look on a custom search on Etsy but anyways that is it for this part of the haul hopefully there is a next part but if not thank y'all so much for watching hi guys I'm here for another part of the haul um I actually am about to film a plan with me using this kit which you guys probably would have maybe already seen by now um and I want to use a foil bundle that I just got from cross press with it so I am just throwing this haul in I didn't want to haul this stuff yet because I was hoping to accumulate a little bit more things but I will see if I get more um it is like the very end of the month now um but cross press did have a sale um for was it their birthday I honestly don't know Christmas in July I don't know um so I did get quite a few foil bundles because like her foil bundles are my fave so I got the glimmer in gold which I don't think I've seen this one I'm just curious to see it looks like it's these are still in the older format um but yeah this is like a really basic one I realize I don't have a lot of like regular gold foil bundles or basics really um so I wanted to pick up more of those to kind of help my collection. And why can't I get this back in? Okay. And then I did get um, the Confetti 2.0 also in gold, which looks very similar to that. And then I got the Halloween um, one in sparkly foil, in sparkly hollow foil. And I plan... This is so cute. I don't think I used this last year. Maybe I did. I don't remember anymore. Um, I actually I probably did. Um, I plan on using this. Well, I actually don't know for sure yet what what my Halloween collection is looking like, but probably these two together I'm gonna do. Um, which you guys will see that, and then. I got the Sweet Dreams, which is like the baby one in hollow because I do have a baby kit for when and if I find out I'm pregnant. So I'm crazy and went ahead and bought the foil to go with that. So I'm just going to pop that in there. And then this is the foil bundle I want to use right now, um, which this looks like it's in the new format. So that's like super exciting. This is the summertime. And yeah, this is in a new format. So I'm going to go ahead and use that with this kit right here um and so that's why I'm hauling this and everything but I got all those foil bundles and then for kits I picked up um this kit oh she threw in some freebies so this one looks like a, le a fall one. So you have like some leaves and then pumpkin patch bonfire and apple picking and gold. And then this one is like so cute. You have like sushi. <gasps> oh my God. 
I, I don't know what this is a sneak peek of. I hope this is going to be in a mystery. But this is so cute. You have like little sushi deco and then sushi night, lunch date, and Japanese takeout. I'm obsessed with that. Um, and then into the kit I got, I got the Monster Drive-In, which this was kit in his dress art. And I just really, really liked it. Um, there weren't as many Halloween kits this year, which I'm not really complaining because I'm not that into Halloween. Um, but I did really like this one. I loved the bright colors, so I wanted to incorporate it. I'm not really into, like, Halloween and all things spooky, but I really thought this art was cute, and I do love the colors a lot. So I'm really excited to use this, and again, I do plan on using this with, um, that sparkly hollow Halloween foil right here. And then, um, this was an extra box. So you have like another zombie girl in a really cute pink dress and I love her tattoos. And then I got, um, some bottom washi. So that's the only kit I picked up. I have since, I'm pretty sure picked up a lot more. Yeah, I have. I've been super into her like fashion people and her fashion boxes and how, inclusive she is in her kit so I'm really excited for my future orders coming in but I got that and then um I got this October monthly art just, again she was just having a sale so I just wanted to stock up on this I chose this girl as my fashion sidebar which I do feel like this girl actually looks like me so that's really cool um and then yeah, I just really, really like this art. I think, I don't know if I got the kit with this art. I'm like getting it all confused now, but I really, really like this art. Either way, I just love the like pinks, purples, and blues for Halloween instead of like the traditional orange, black, and purple. But mm, that's just me, maybe. <laughs> so that is everything I got from Caress Press. Um, and then I just wanted to show you guys this. I did place a Shutterfly order and I got quite a few things, but some of the things I got were some Ollie post-it notes. I got this custom design on Etsy. Um, I can link it down below if I remember. And I've just made, I've made stickers out of it. And then I now just made post-it notes out of it. So I thought these were really cute. I got two of those. And then I just got myself a notepad. I really like Shutterfly actually. Um, but I got myself a notepad uh, with my new last name and my credentials. And I just thought this was really cute as well with like the little rainbow. So I just wanted to show those two things. I also did just get in Scribble Prince Co's September mystery and I'm not a fan at all. So I'm probably going to go ahead and sell this like right away. <laughs> Anyways, that is it for this portion of the haul.